Uh, I want to echo my colleagues who've wished everyone in this chamber a happy International Women's Day, um, but it's a lot more than what happens in this chamber, and I've spent these last few days in March uh, t thinking about the women in my life and the history that they've seen. Uh, my great-grandma, Ruby Skinner, is 100 years old, and I was talking to her the other day about the first that she's seen in her life, uh, the first car in her community, the first plane to fly overhead, but also the first she's seen for women, women getting the right to vote, women uh, going to war, women being elected to office here and across the country. So many firsts, women flying in space, female Supreme Court justices, but she hasn't seen enough firsts. And that's what International Women's Day is about, is creating more firsts. Because yesterday, my page here, she was on a tour with me of the Capitol, this building, and we were walking around talking about the history of our state and the people who make decisions here. And one of them turned to me in the Hall of Governors and said, where are all the girls? And I said, that's on us and that's on you. And so today on International Women's Day, it's great to look back at what we've done, but we also have to look forward. So I would encourage you within today and in the next coming weeks, talk to the young girls in your life, tell them they can be another first and show them what they can do. Uh, there's an organization I worked with and their favorite saying is you can't be what you can't see. We have to promote women so other young girls can see what happens and um, know that they too can be a first. So thank you, happy International Women's Day. Take some time today to thank the women in your life and to talk to the young girls about what they can be.